Mm -hmm. uh, hello, everybody. I want to say welcome to all of you that uh, enjoyed the, our meeting for Capstone project for a School of Technology and Computing. Uh, I hope you enjoy uh, this meeting and learn from the presentation. First of all, I want to share the screen. Can you all see my screen? Yes, I can see. <laughs> OK, good. Uh, today uh, is the uh, fourth week that uh, we have Capstone uh, project. My name is Anaita from a School of uh, Technology and Computing. Uh, after my uh, speech, uh, Dr. Sam Chang will speak and about capstone orientation. And after that, Dr. Siun Yoon, as you see in a schedule, uh, the program manager of uh, MS. Did she freeze? And I thought something broken, something frozen. Anaida, are you okay? Okay. Okay, I'll take the controls. There is a communication problem. Okay. Hey Adrian, can, can you see can you see my screen? Yes. Oh, yes. okay. Everybody can see that. I think uh, her network has the issue, so I'll take control. Yeah. Okay. So after my presentation, CEO Noon will do that. Also, we have invited to speak. That she was a student just a couple of months ago. Uh, Catherine Arta. She will talk about that, and then we'll have a uh, twenty minutes of question and answers. Okay, so uh, today I'm taking the, uh, my spot just to go up there. Looks like I have a uh, 15 minutes. Okay, first uh, let's uh, talk about the capstone. Everybody hears what is the capstone? Why do you need to take a capstone? When do you have to take? Also, you have to work with whom, and also uh, what kind of things you have to do. Also, how you can finish your capstone course successfully. So let me have a great time with you, so I will share uh, many things with you. OK, so go to the next one. OK, what is the capstone project? Capstone project is what you have to demonstrate how much you learned. Simply, you have a it looks like exam, just simply checking your concepts. But capstone different, so you have to demonstrate uh, your ability to apply principles, or tools and techniques. Uh, that what you learned from your discipline to the specific problem or research, research study. And also this one is integrating the everything. Look at that. Then when you have a final capstone, everything looks like, you know, done. So that's the generally people know that. Then when do you have to take a capstone project? Here, in terms of taking this course, Student must take this course in the last quarter of enrollment after completing all the program courses before graduation. That means if you are taking the capstone, means you are finishing the, your degree programs. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, okay, let me see. Then next, okay, just a second. Okay, then what is the next? Yes, that's the one. Okay, you know the when. OK, wait a minute. So why this one does not work? OK, so why do you need to take the capstone project? Now you are graduating from CDU. 
let me ask you. So you can graduate from somewhere else, some other universities. How you can depreciate yourself? How you are so different from others? Or how much you are distinct from the others? That's the why capstone is coming. Also capstone, simply you are not solving the given problem. You have to identify problem. You need a creative thinking. Also, you have to show how you understand the problem or the domain. That's a comprehension. Also, you have to work with others, especially your capstone advice or some, some area than somebody already published a paper or somebody working their communication. Of course, looks like this is a single man player. No, still you have to have a collaboration, especially uh, you can discuss with other groups or you can show yours to the UR research group or you can work with your capstone advice. And then also you want to gain competence. That's the difference. Because of that, this is what great evidence. You want to show your evidence to future employ employers, especially your presentation to the public at the School of Technology Computing Applied Research Symposium. Every uh, 10 weeks after the, after the end of a quarter, then we are inviting people to present what they have done. Also, you know what? If you have some source code or if you have a real code, you put into the, this one into the GitHub. Nowadays, some students put in, software students, they put into the uh, GitHub labs. Also, some students, they are publishing paper. They want to have a more solid evidence. So go to the next slide. Then now let's talk about that. You chose the City University of Sierra. Why Sierra? You can go to the another university. But naturally, you have advantages. You know that, right? Warehouse here, Boeing here, Windows here, Microsoft, right? Starbucks. Also, you know that. Amazon, right? AWS, Cloud City. This one, Microsoft and Sierra, uh, Microsoft and sorry, Amazon, they brought a lot of jobs, professional career to the, uh, uh, this city. So that's the what happening. This is one example. So many students, but some of them, they are not uh, 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 sharing the information. Now look at that. Some of them, I know is a bias to MSCS about cybersecurity. A lot of domestic students, they are already working, even work to AWS or move to somewhere. Please, if you have a good news later, please share with your program manager. Now you can see that our student, our alumni, they are working here. Okay, then what does it mean? If you are looking for the, your demand and you are looking for the, your uh, salary range, I recommend the one, one star, one, one star net online. So one o net online dot org. If you go there, you can see that. For example, this is the, I chose the software engineer or some kind of a job. So you can see that average, right? She had to look at that average. You know what? This is what our students who are graduating from, they are making the money. They worked for the money. No, they worked hard and then they are getting the, this kind of advantage here. That's why previously I showed that. Means some students really, they did extra miles. They have, they had extra miles. Then outside the market, they recognize those students. They really want to work with them. You know the Pinterest, right? Also, you know the Adobe, you know the Google. Yes. This is what, you know, Seattle. Because of them, how can you be there? I want to be there too. That story should not be the somebody's story. Here, I'll summarize all of them here. You have a knowledge, you by taking course, you can learn it. Through the team project uh, or, or team project, also hands-on skill, hands-on practice programming exercise, virtual lab, you will earn the skills. But you need to demonstrate to yourself. There are many things here, students trying to from the degree certificates, industry certification. One of them is a capstone project and publication. Why student using capstone for their storytelling? You know the storytelling, right? If you have a children, so you, you read a books, right? Something like that. When you go to the interview, it, it, here, even here, some of them already, you are working at the company, you are hiring people. The interview is what? Storytelling. Usually you want to know what they did. Capstone can be used for that purpose. So who do you work with for your capstone? You are, looks like you are a single person. You have many different hats. 
for example, you are working with uh, your cybersecurity, first you need a project manager. No matter what any project, you need a project management skill. You know then our cyber world, we are using what agile methodology, Scrum or Kanban. When you go to the interview, oh, how did you manage a project? Oh, I had a team meeting, very, very general one. No, they really wanted to listen to what project management skill you use based upon uh, proven theory. You know, we are using Scrum a lot. Because of that, also you are product owner. Sometimes you bring the problem, you have to know you you have to know your domain area, cybersecurity, data science, AI, or software engineering, or software development and networking. Also, you are working with your instructor together. Let's say if you are a system engineer, all of a system, regardless of a software, regardless of a data science AI, you, you have to take a system analyst role, system designer's role, system developer, and tester. Also, you have to admin your environment, especially uh, this kind of administration is important for information technology, cybersecurity. So those are things also you are working. Also, what do you have to do in the capstone? Yes, you have to have a general methodology. That's the why uh, project methodology scrub. Then you select what? Okay, let's say scrub. And then also inside you have a man, different methods, quantitative analysis or qualitative analysis, or you combine it together. Also, you know what? Capstone has the, our own methodology, CDU style, CDU Gangnam style. So we provided that, right? And then also uh, presentation. You are good, you don't know how to say you are work with somebody, then I'm sorry. That's the why also you 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 must have those skills like what Steve Jobs, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's the why so we I put into the uh here's a slide here. Also, nowadays a lot of people they want to see that you are source coder. Oh, you really did, or well, cybersecurity you did, AI you did, can I see it? Oh, can I access your GitLab or GitHub? Also, they want to have a YouTube video, two minutes of video, or they want to see your final report. All those are things are combined together. Simply speaking, capstone is what? Storytelling. Okay. Also, we have evidence. For example, this is what last summer we did that. Student come, end of the quarter, a School of Technology Computing Applied Research Symposium. We are not deleting the, this one from the our one C4CYI, Center for Cybersecurity Innovation, that CDU.edu. If you go there, you can find uh, uh, our uh, ALS, Applied Research Symposium. We keep this one forever. So you can come back, you can use this one as your evidence. What else? Yes. Also, you know what? Our, our university, we need accreditation or a center designation. So we collect some good outcomes, then we put into the CTU repository. You can see that some of the students that they put into the, this one, usually instructor collected them, we put into the, our repository. Also, we have a one. Look at this one. Next week, I have to go to the Clearwater, Florida. Today, you can see the one, Catherine Arthur. She did her capstone study. Brian Meng is what? Uh, corresponding also means a major device. She did a very good one uh, through the, her capstone project. Look at the, this title. Then she submitted this one to the uh, conference, Conisa. The paper was accepted. I never met her in person. Why? She's in the Florida. Now I'm going to the Florida next week. At least, you know, I can see her. At least we can have a cup of coffee or too hard, we can have a drink. I can say hello to her. This is one of the evidence. Also, several students that you can see that they are going to. I'll meet them. Even uh, Yuche uh, uh, Leo, Spencer Leo, already he is working at uh, what Silicon Valley, you know, uh, Google, but he submitted his work. Also, he used his research to get a job at Google. That's why Capstone is what? All of a storytelling. Then you are targeting a certain area, you are targeting certain company, then you are using the, your Capstone when you have an interview. Think over that. You Invested your time at least three quarters, three months. When you go to the interview, how much good? You can see it, right? But how you can finish your capstone course successfully? Day one. What does it mean day one? Today. As soon as you get into the CDU, I'm telling you, your capstone started. Why? First, the capstone, you need the skills. 
You don't have to worry about which problem do I have to solve. Don't worry about that. Do you have a skills? Always I'm telling the student, hey, if you know how to driving, how to drive a car, then when you know where you have to go, you can go. If you have a cybersecurity skills, AI algorithms or data science, modeling, software programming skill or statistical skills, first start with those skills. Okay. 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 Just uh, then. Okay. You know what? Just a second. Are you sharing? Everybody can see the screen. Yeah. And then this one, what? Capstone day one, you can do that. So you don't have any idea. Talk to the, your program manager. Hey, I have no idea. What can I do? And then also, first of find you are interested in technologies, areas, or jobs. Even, you know, think of the job. You are, oh, I want to go to the, this job. Or sometimes, you know, I want to have a, some kind of a future company. Think of that day one. Also, you will help you use a student club, research group, or a career assessment. Our, we have the Huawei, that program. Also, local meetups. You know, we have a wonderful one, uh, North, okay, New Tech Northwest. We see you is a sporting there, just 10 minutes from our university. Every month, the second Tuesday, 5 to 7.30, you can go, you can meet the people. That's the why you can start the day one. Generally, Capstone looks like what? This is the 10 iterations. Looks like a sprint. You know, skirmish using sprint concept means we are repeating this one 10 times. But we are doing this one iteratively and incrementally. So week one problem identification. Many students, they are struggling here. Why? When they start the capstone, they are looking for the problem too late. That's why we did this kind of a capstone uh, uh, orientation. Hey, you cannot identify problem right away. Also, this is a long journey, at least one and a half year. You join the CDU, or even you are taking next quarter, start now. Think of your problem. Is this problem useful? This problem is related to your area, your job area, your professional career, or your future company. Also, who solved this one? That's the one. Week two, is especially, uh, you have to know the articles. Then also, you have to have a lot of websites link. Of course, we are using that. But also, you need a academic solid paper too. Related to what week three is very hard. Why? A lot of people, students, they want to start the first. No. Before starting something, you have to know who did that before, why they could do something successfully, or why they failed, or can I improve something, or can I make something different? Those things are very useful. Those are things that we are following that, okay? Because of that, when you try to take the capstone course, then you start to quarter, oh my God, you are driving 200 miles per week. That's why I'm saying, think over the problem. How this area or this skill are related to my professional career? Also, uh, your future plan. Okay, so now let me start here. Okay, then now I'll give this chance to the Sion because Sion has this one. Okay, and I doubt it there, but I'll give a chance to the Sion. Later we can come back. Sion, would you? Uh, take it at this chance. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. Um, can I share my screen? Well, you can go to the OneDrive, then you can do it. Yes, you can share to this one. Click I can share. share. I can share a screen if you want. Um, it, can I can I share it if if it's possible? <laughs> yeah. No, you can click to share. You have a power. Okay. okay. This is not Zoom. This is a Microsoft Teams. Okay. Sorry, everyone, my connection was has trouble and disconnected okay, because of it. Oh, OK. Um, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. OK. OK, hello, yes. everyone. Um, my name is Sion Yoon, and I'm the program manager for the MSAI program. Um, Dr. Chung has provided such a great overview of the capstone project and the importance of it. Uh, so for my presentation, I won't go into the details of the course, but provide you with 10 tips um, that can be helpful for you for the capstone project. So let's get started. Um, tip number one is to find your topic early. I know Dr. Chung has already mentioned this, but I like to emphasize it once again. Um, choosing a good 
capstone project is very important. A uh, majority of the students start the capstone um, project without any idea of what they want to do for the capstone project. And with this, uh, many students get a bit overwhelmed at the beginning of the course. So, um, but if you are ready by the first week uh, with a solid topic, uh, the entire course will go much smoothly. Um, in other words, choosing a good topic makes your research more pr effective, progress quickly and more enjoyable. Um, therefore, it is the prerequisite um, for the success of the capstone project. And to do this, I encourage you to search for a topic before the course even begins so that you can have a stronger start to the course. And to some, finding a problem, a knowledge gap can be a challenge. Uh, one option is using an existing knowledge gap. Um, finding an existing problem statement um, can be done by going through research articles, which I'll go over in the next slide. And um, you can see and try to search for um, some disagreements to their solutions. What do you not agree with? Um, and thereafter, providing your own solution to the problem statement is an option that you can take. Um, I encourage you to read peer-reviewed papers through article search engines such as ACM and the IEEE data databases um, to find ideas and search for problems that interest you um, to solve. Um, they have a lot of a large um, database of different um, researches that have previously done, so you can look through those to find some um, interesting topics that you may, and then um, interesting topics and some of the problem statements that you don't agree with so that you can find a different solution. It doesn't have to be a large uh, problem statement because um, a lot of the researches that are in these uh, databases may have taken months or even years to complete, and knowing that this is just a 10 week course, a groundbreaking is extensive research results are not expected, but something meaningful with the technical contribution using the knowledge and skills that you've learned from the courses you have taken um, it make a strong capstone project. So just keep that in mind um, and also also keep in mind that a vast majority of the researchers take only a small step forward to solve a larger goal. Also, here are some other tips on choosing a topic. Um, choose a topic that you're interested in. Think of what you're passionate about. What gets you excited? If you don't like your topic, you will not enjoy the process, the capstone project process. So it's important to find a topic you would have fun with. And also try to use this time wisely to help you for your future plan after graduation whether it's your first step into your career, future education, or even within your workplace. Um, moreover, um, make sure your topic can be realistically completed within 10 weeks um, and that isn't too broad or too narrow. Um, we, when shaping your topic, set goals that are no, notable but yet feasible, and you can start small and expand as you progress. Um, and also, this is such a good time, like you don't get to you know, do anything that you really wanted to do. Like sometimes, um, like you don't get to have that this kind of time. And this capstone project time is such a good time where you can do really what you wanted to study, what you what you want to research more deeper into. So it's, I think utilize this time to do and um, a research that you really were interested are interested in, and it'd be really great. And ensure the topic is clear and you're able to state your problem statement with the solution in a few sentences. If your objectives are not clear, you're not going to you're going to go all over the place during the project process. So be able to persuade the readers um, through your paper and audience through your present um, through your presentation and the importance of your work with evidence and clearly de deliver your de um, objectives. And no one will know your topic better than you. And many of the audience may not even know about your topic. Um, it's expected that you describe step by step and use visualizations such as comparison charts, figures, graphs, etc., to prove your point to help the audience understand clearly and easily. Because, um, like I said, some people don't know much about 
your the area that you're researching on and some people wouldn't understand um, if they get an easier way of understanding it, it'll be very they'll be um, very persuaded by your problem statement and the solution that you provide. Um, and note that each week you'll be focusing on a particular section, um, as Dr. Chung has shown. Uh, um, there's also there's an introduction section, related work section, approach section, etc. So there will be more guidance um, through the modules. And there'll be tips within the modules each week, so you don't want to worry too much. And I know that it feels like there's so many things that you need to do, but each week we focus on one at a time. So um, yeah, you will have that kind of guidance throughout the course. Also ask questions. Um, there's a muddiest point. You can always ask questions to the muddiest points area, um, section uh, of the um, core uh, of the module, and also you can drop in during office hours to discuss about your project. Um, you can also um, talk with the instructor. Always reach out through email or through chat um, to ask questions about the, um, if you have any questions about your project, you can set up meetings as well. Um, also, um, since this is an independent research, sharing your progress and providing feedbacks to classmates can be very helpful. Um, one, uh, you can use the discussion board um, rather than just stating a good update or good progress. I advise students to provide more in-depth uh, feedback, which can motivate, encourage, and also help one another throughout the capstone project journey. Another thing to keep in mind is the final deliverables. On the 10th week, what is expected is the finalized paper, PPT, and for those who have a source code, a GitHub link within the report and presentation is expected. Um, there is also the Applied Research Symposium that is held at the end of the quarter, and um, it is required for all students in the course to present at this um, event. So if, uh, if you're taking this course, please have the last Thursday of um, week 10 marked on your calendar. Um, within um, the, the presentation is to be 15 minutes, and within the 15 minute presentation, um, a demo is required, which is a two minute demonstration showing what you um, have done. Just showing um, a demo, like a short video of what you have, maybe your source code or what you, something that you, or maybe explaining about your, the, um, your demonstration that you have created. Just, um, you can be pre-recorded or it can be shown live during the presentation. Just keep that in mind. Also good um, efforts and time needs to be put into each week's process, um, progress um, to um, complete your capstone project effectively. Be prepared, avoid a postponing, and you can use project management tools or daily to-do list to manage time wisely. Think of yourself as a project manager and you control every aspects of it from choosing the topic and making sure every step of the project is successfully completed. Um, I'm sure, sure most of you are familiar with the policy for late assignments as this applies for other courses as well, but please ensure assignments are submitted on time so your grades are not affected by it. And um, avoiding plagiarism is very important, um, especially um, in the capstone course, there's a lot of writing, so um, it's very important that plagiarism is avoided. Um, and plagiarism um, is violating the academic integrity, so is, um, you would um, need to make sure that it is not detected. I advise students to run their work through the plagiarism detect tool before submitting. Um, so, so to conclude, here are 10 tips that I have for you on your capstone project. Number one, uh, find your topic early. Cer number two, search for an existing problem. Three, choosing a topic, choose a topic that is meaningful to you. Four, is ensure that the topic is clear and paper presentation is persuasive. Five, ask questions and engage. Six, keep in mind of final deliverables. Seven, good efforts needs to be put in. Eight, use time wisely. Submit assignments on time. And lastly, avoid plagiarism. Uh, thank you, and I wish you all the best on your capstone project. 
Thank you very much, Dr. Steele. Thanks a lot uh, for your presentation. And now we want to go to Catherine. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, are you able to hear me well? Yes, yes, sure. All right. Um, is, is it I, OK? I can, well, I can share your uh, PowerPoint. All right. That's good. Thank can you. you see? Yes. Um, All right. All right. Um, thank you, uh, Anita. Um, hello, everyone. Um, my name is Catherine, and um, I'm a fresh graduate um, in the MSDS program, and uh, I'm here to talk about my experience um, when creating my caption project and um, writing a paper for um, publication. Um, next, please. Um, so my presentation will cover planning for um, working on the capstone project, writing the uh, research paper for publication, um, some final notes, and a sh very short demo on uh, my project. Next, please. So when I was planning for my capstone project, um, I started with the topic. Um, uh, as I was deciding, um, I considered some factors um, like my interests, like um, computer vision, um, natural language processing, um, chatbots, and recommender systems. So I also thought about um, uh, its relevance to my background, which is in healthcare, um, pharmaceutical, and insurance. And then what are my past experiences and um, what I have knowledge of. And I also wanted it to be in, in impactful. So um, I started thinking about my topic like two quarters prior to uh, my last term and right after I attended um, the capstone orientation. Um, so when I have like a list of like um, possible topics, I started thinking about um, what data I can use. So I, I did some research and knowing that in healthcare and insurance, um, accessing um, data that are uh, quite sensitive, it's um, going to be hard. So it took me a lot of time and I, I actually prioritized this and um, I checked um, all possible data sources that I can think of like Kaggle, um, data.gov, um, Google dataset search. I also checked um, GitHub and um, UCI machine learning repository. I even checked um, CDC and WHO's websites. Um, um, I also approached Dr. Yun um, and I asked her if she has like um, any any um, like suggestions where I can find health related um, data sets. And eventually, I found um, a data um, some data sets that I can uh, possibly use. And then um, this also helped me narrow down narrow down my um, options for um, possible topics so and then um, I found a data set that I like and um, and that I'll be working on so um, this gave gave me an idea of what I wanted to do and um, while I was planning for my actual project I list down um, the skills that I know and uh, the te technologies that is required for um, like possible technologies that is required for um, building my project and then I had to know what are my strengths and weaknesses, and then I thought it would be better to um, apply the skills that I um, already know and then hone those skills. And then I also um, worked on what my weaknesses were or are. <laughs> and then I also thought of, OK, if there are any um, skills that is required, um, I should be thinking about them and like, learn them right now before like the actual um, like term for the capstone project starts. So I did that. Um, I also made sure that um, my project will be doable within the uh, time span I have, like, which is approximately 10 weeks. weeks. And then, of course, there will be some um, issues with your project. Some like you would be debugging some like all of this problem. So I allot time for that as well. Um, while I was thinking about our planning for my project, um, at the same time, I was researching for um, good and relevant references. Um, I, I got like um, at least 25 references and I knew that they should be um, from, from published journals. So um, I checked, um, I used Google Scholar, 
um, ACMI, as mentioned by Dr. Sion. And um, I also checked the um, IEE Explore. Um, for my case, I did, I, I checked Science Direct, um, CDC and WHO. And um, like, there are times when you like, Oh, you found a good source, but then it doesn't, you can't access it if you don't pay for it. So what I did was I took the DOI jumper and log into DOI.org or like just, you know, open their um, website and then search that um, DOI number. So that worked for me. And um, for the, um, oh, I'm sorry, next please. So uh, I was, um, I started working on the C, uh, CNN model first and um, I did this two weeks prior the um, the last term, my last term, and which is like the the semester or yeah, the break. Um, and then I did this in uh, Google Colab. So I paid for the pro version because like I I knew that um, if you're working with um, images while you're building your um, neural networks, like especially with thousands of images, um, it takes a lot of computing power. So um, this gave me access to a GPU always when I'm like working on my project. And then I explored my data and then built and trained and evaluated my model. So this part of the, um, the process was not very time consuming, but when you improve, when you're improving your model, it's like a totally different story. So um, I did a lot of experimenting with um, the parameters, um, like the layers to use, the number of layers to use. And then I also experimented on the um, hyperparameters, like the, um, the learning rate, the batch size, the um, optimizer, and um, uh, the number of neurons to use or filters and things that are like relevant. And um, this part was very time consuming. Um, it took me probably uh, more than 50 trials. Like I, I was able to build more than 50 models in two weeks. Um, and then once I found the uh, my best model, I started thinking about um, building an app. So while I was um, working on the, my initial model, I was um, recording the results and um, I also wrote down what I did. So with that, I was able to um, create my initial draft for my paper. So that helped a lot. And um, so when I was um, working on the um, iOS app or like a mobile, I was thinking of a mobile app, but then I had um, previous experience um, creating like very simple iOS apps um, for fun. So I thought it would be a good idea to, you know, work, uh, use the iOS um, platform. So um, I reviewed some of my um, previous work and um, I had to relearn programming in Swift and uh, in Xcode. And then uh, before the term started, I was able to build like a, just the skeleton of my app. I was like, expecting there's going to be some changes. So I stopped there and it was just in time that the uh, term started. Um, I expected that there's going to be, um, yeah, other than the changes, there will be, um, of course, um, errors. So you have to debug that and so on. Um, so uh, the first week, um, I had a meeting with um, Dr. May, who was my um, uh, project advisor. So he suggested to use um, AWS cloud services because he knew that I was um, learning the ML, how to use the ML platform in AWS. So I did that. Um, I used Amazon SageMaker. Um, this I used to retrain and tune my um, initial CNN model. And um, this is like all cloud-based. So um, this one, this was actually my weakness. And um, I thought it was a very complicated, especially because I was, I didn't have enough experience using it. Um, so yeah, this one, this, um, you need to have um, some experience um, to like, to be able to work successfully in this um, environment. And um, I did review my previous work, um, like, months before or even a year before. And um, while I was working on my um, the CNN model, I did uh, many, many trials and errors, especially on the issues with um, framework version and incompatibilities. And then 
also with um like with a sage maker they are kind of strict with the um, data format that you're using so it has to be like an acceptable format it's either uh, you use a record io or um what's the other one like a compressed file which is i, I use like numpy's uh save the underscore compressed um like it's like one of their built-in function so i use that for my use case um and that worked um uh next piece sorry Okay, so um, when writing the research paper for um, publication, this one uh, coincided with um, my capstone project and also like the paper that I was writing. So especially in the um, first five weeks for me. So if you started early, um, you will have enough time to improve your paper. And it is, I would recommend to put some more of time and effort in improving your paper. Um, having good references also helps and do expect to make a lot of changes and um, editing, which happened to me. <laughs> and um, also Dr. Ming and Dean Sam, um, they were giving me very good and helpful um, suggestions. So, you know, you'll listen to your advisors because they know better. <laughs> and um, next piece. So for my final note, um, like what was iterated by Dr. Um, Yun and um, Dean Sam, you start early, uh, work on something you're passionate about. Um, for me, it was like computer vision in healthcare. So um, that worked out well for me. Um, learn extra skills outside of school, especially if you don't have a background in uh, computers or technology. Um, and this was also mentioned by Dean Sam, um, join a student club um, and attend their um, weekly meetings if you can. Um, this one, you, um, you can learn a lot of things and this will also um, give you insights. Um, time management is very important. You, know, you make sure you have ample time to work on your project as well as in like, you know, when things don't go well, you, will, you should have time for that. Um, so, and also when you're um, stuck, uh, you can't, it's better to take a break and, um, but you don't give up working on your project, um, put time and effort on your project. And as I mentioned earlier, listen to your, um, um, uh, advisors advice or their pointers, some suggestions and enjoy working on your project, which is like the best part for me, <laughs> um, for next page, please. Okay. So here is like a very short demo of, um, like, uh, my the app that I created, which is just like a prototype. Um, uh, can you play my uh, the video? Thank you. Yeah, sure. So, um, so this one is like a sam one of the sample images um, I used, and um, as predicted or classified by the app, it says non-autistic, which is correct. And this one is another sample image that I use. Um, this one is like a non or autistic, which is also correct. And um, that's, well, that's like a very short video. And that's it for my presentation. And I hope you gather some useful tips. And uh, well, that's it. And thank you for your time. Okay. Thank you very much, Katrina. Thanks mm -hmm. for your work and your presentation. Uh, does anybody have any question uh, for Katrin? Yes, uh, I want to share the Katrin's work. Just let me share the screen. I will show something. Wait, can you see that this beautiful beach? Yeah. This yeah. is the yes. clear water <laughs> beach, Florida. Yes, actually, she, she and I will meet here. Then this is her outcomes. Now she has an official record. This is the outcome of the, her. Uh, capstone. We are not forcing students to publish it. Okay, we are strongly recommend. This is only she volunteer, so she really wanted to aim high and look at that. This is what. If we are doing very capstone, our capstone is using this Conisa conference format. So, yeah, you can see that this video picture, right? You just saw it. Yeah, yeah. So this is what. See, up to the last minute, she really worked hard. Then she has this one. I hope she can use this one for her 
a job search or any professional career. Yes. Okay, let me stop it. All of a speaker, would you turn on the camera? Three speakers. Now, student, your time. You can have a question or you can put into the uh, uh, chat box, then we'll answer your question. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you're going to have a question, then we can adjourn earlier, but don't be shy, okay? Mm -hmm. Can I have a question, Katrina? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, you said about some uh, roadblocks that you have in your presentation. Mm -hmm. I want to know what was the most important thing, most important roadblocks that you have in for Capstone project. Um, and you remember me, all the time about that, you know? Uh, yeah. yeah. So for me, uh, it was um, using SageMaker. Um, I, I was stuck with um, like the data that I was using. It, it, it wouldn't accept the format, so I had to figure out the correct format for my, my case. Um, I use the script mode to uh, train, retrain the model and uh, tune it. So um, you cannot use like, let's say um, I Amazon has documentations and I was looking at their documentations and there were some videos and I was like, I was studying them and um, they were using record IO, which is like one of the formats that Amazon uh, uh, SageMaker used. Um, it didn't work for me. I was getting a lot of errors. So uh, I had to figure out what I can do to fix my, it took me like weeks to, to, to make it work. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a question in chat box. Yes, there are two questions. Yes. Yeah, Joseph's question. I'll, uh, yes, would you be the jo yes. Joseph question, mm -hmm. Yes, Joseph Williams. Is there a list of topics to help us get an idea of where to start thinking? Do you have any suggestion? Any list? Okay, so I put into the link. Also, I will share the screen. There are many ways. OK, there are many ways you can get a that one. This is the easy way. Everybody, do you know C4 CI Ida City Ura Radio? This is a center for cybersecurity innovation, the City Ura Radio. If you come, go to the school STC. Then you can see the event, apply the research project. All years we have a data. Let's go to the summer. What happened? Can you see the topic here? Yeah, you can see a lot of topics of what students did. Okay, mm -hmm. every session they can come. This is the one of a way, then you can get at that topic uh, easily. First, understand what other students did. The other second one is. You have a student club, join the student club. They are talking about something else. Third, our faculty, we have a research group. I have a smart and secure computing group. Usually Friday, four to five. I know it's a tough time. We come, we are talking. Then uh, also post one, start with the skills. So skill is always easy way. You want to learn something. You want to learn TypeScript, especially cutting edge skills, not all the skills. You targeted some company, you are looking for skills. That's the also you can start. That's my answer. How about others, Sion? Mm -hmm. The question is, yes, is there a list of oh. topics? Yeah. Yeah, um, one is, um, I'll send out a link on the chat box. Um, you know, the SDC repository, there's a list of good um, papers that have been submitted and uh, that has been completed. So I'll put that link there as well. And our STC also has a YouTube channel with some examples of um, examples of uh, capstone presentations. You can also see that as well. I'll put the two links there um, to see some examples um, of, your cap of different capstones papers that have been completed. Yeah. Yeah. Also, if you can get uh, somebody's paper, uh, uh, also you can see the their listers. That's the easily you can find it. Okay. Also, Catherine, do you have any answer or comment about uh, Joseph's question? Is there a list um, of uh, topics? 
um, honestly, I did not look for like sources for um, like possible topics. What I did was know what are my interests, um, what I already know, and um, like what is relevant to my background. Like my background is in healthcare and insurance and pharmacy. So I was thinking, okay, what can I do with this background, with this knowledge? And I list everything that I can think of. Like, okay, initially I wanted to make like a, a uh, pill identifier, like medication identifier, but I couldn't access this data, so I crushed out. Um, so I ended up have doing the autism um, classifier because number one, I could like computer vision. I really enjoyed working on um, images, and um, that really worked for me. And I know I have some knowledge because it's a like, healthcare related. So um, yeah. So if you have like other backgrounds, you have other interests, um, like what are you passionate about? This was mentioned um, by Dr. S Dr. Yun. Um, go go with it. Um, try to like think, be creative. <laughs> yeah, be creative. And um, what if you have already have some skills, use them. And if you have others, other like if you really want to learn other skills, then Take time to do that. Like if if you have spare time or during like breaks, that's what I did. Like um, when it's we don't have school, we have three weeks. I I learn thing other things so I don't stop learning. And like you know your brain stops working if you like take a long time and not learn anything. So I did that, and I also joined the uh, data science club. Yes, yeah. uh, and I want to add something uh, to get idea if you uh see if you can see my screen in your course share uh, you can go to uh to the right uh, to the left uh, left side extra curricular activities community building as sam said we have some uh uh meeting every week thursday Week two, we had the invited talks. Week four, we have STC capstone orientation. It is today. Next week, we have invited talk. For example, invited talk. When I click on invited talk, uh, it is open. And next week, we have uh, Dr. Ho. Uh, we invited uh, uh, Dr. Yoon invited uh, him. And you can also from these invited like this capstone orientation you can have uh, and get idea and i think for stc student uh, it's necessary to attend uh, all of these weeks because you know week two week four week five week eight and also week 10 we have these meetings and uh, try to attend these meetings and you can uh, get idea from all of these meetings Okay, then also I saw that uh, Jocelyn, Sharia, I'm sorry if I could not pronounce your name, I'm sorry. Yeah, but you have a very good question. Then asking, uh, especially asking Kathleen and Anahita or, or Sion's, are you both currently working in a job related for your capstone? In this case, I think uh, uh, Kathleen already mentioned that she is working in healthcare area. So we have uh, two types of a student. Uh, generally, one type is a student, a domestic student. Usually they are working, then they want to learn the computer science, the data science, the cybersecurity. Then they want to have a, a promote themselves at the workplace. That's the one type. Or they want to go to the, the other job domain, then usually they are targeting their future professional career. So their market, what they are looking for. Okay. Also, if you are using current your domain knowledge, like uh, Kathleen has a very good domain knowledge in healthcare. That means she used the data science and AI, she solved the problem. That's the very good approach. The other one, Anaita, she came from the other country, then she's an international student. She's targeting the some company, okay? After graduation, I wanna go to the, this level of a company, okay? Starting. Even simply sometimes just to talk about the salary, it's okay. I'm targeting this level of the uh, salary. Then if you go to market, they are asking a lot of skills. First, you start with the uh, skills, very easy. Skill, you don't have to think a lot. But while you are studying the, those skills, earning the skills through the, your muscle memory, then you can find the problems. Also, I'm encouraging. Relatively, a few students, 
they have a very strong idea. I want to have a, this a startup company. Those are students also, they have a, that. So my bottom line is what? First, everybody tonight, think of what will you do after you finish the master degree or bachelor degree at the CDU. If you think now, I guarantee your life much easier. Your capstone outcome is very, very good. Also, Ali mentioned that, hey, Ali, already you showed one, Anaita shows that our course cell has all over link. Okay, please don't forget it. And then I got the one question from the, another faculty. Hey, the faculty said, is it clear that student can and should have their topics decided earlier? Everybody's saying decide earlier. But you know what, in order to have a decision, you have to invest your time. You have to have at least one or two quarters. You have to invest your time. That's why everybody's saying here, when you come to the capstone, oh, where is my problem? I'm sorry, already you are, I know the quality of your paper, very poor. That's why we are saying that. And another student said, hey, end of uh, uh, the product of the capstone, okay. Uh, Benita Pahoya, yes, thank you. The end of a product of the capstone has to be a paper. Yes, regardless of a public, uh, this kind of a uh, top paper, the report is the uh, conference proceeding paper, also presentation, demo. We want the three presentation skill, okay? And then writing report. And also we want to see the demo means including source code. Uh, did I answer correctly, Sion? Do you have any question about that? The end the product of a capstone has to be a paper? Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, is the paper and a presentation? And I, I actually don't have the um, the chat box, but can I share my screen real quick to show the yes, SPC yeah. repository? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you go to repository.cdu.edu um, and go under computer science, and there's some example um, capstone project papers here you can look at, and also. Um, for the example of the presentation, um, you can go to the YouTube and go to C C four C Y I City U Seattle, and there is a sec uh, a video section called City U um, Capstone Presentation, and you can see all the examples here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Everybody, it's three minutes to the end of the meeting. I want to thank you all, all the presenters, Dr. Sam, Dr. Sion, and Katrina, and I, all of you that uh, attended to this meeting. I hope you enjoyed this meeting and learned something. Uh, I just want to thank you all and see you next week for Invited Talk, week five. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you all. By the way, I like uh, very much your background, uh, Catherine. Oh. <laughs> oh, your background is very beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Very I think my own wall. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Thank, Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you, Sam. Bye. Thank you. Bye. All right, thank you. Thank you, Sam. Bye. Yeah, okay, yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye.